Jim Carrey's lawyer has accused the mother and husband of his late girlfriend of trying to extort the funnyman by alleging Hess responsible for her death. The Dumb Dumber star is being sued for wrongful death over the 2015 suicide of makeup artist Catriona White by her estranged husband, Mark Burton, and her mother, Bridget Sweetman. They claim he provided the drugs that led to her death and gave White a sexually transmitted disease during their relationship. But in a cross-complaint filed against White's attorney, Filippo Marchino, Burton, and Sweetman on Friday 29 SEP 17, Carey claims the lawsuit is nothing more than an extortion attempt. In the new court documents, Carey alleges his late ex extorted him herself with the help of Marchino in 2013, threatening to go public with allegations the actor gave her STDs, unless he paid her millions. Cat and Marchino knew the claim was false and knew the mere allegation would impact Jim and his career, Carey's attorney, Raymond Boucher, states. Rather than engage in a protracted and expensive public battle, Jim, as many in his position do, succumbed to the demands and privately resolved the issue with Kat and her lawyer. At the time, I felt Kat was being exploited by Marchino. Since this new case was filed, I have discovered the depth of deception behind those false claims, Kerry says in a statement to U.S. News show Entertainment Tonight. I will not give in a second time to these same fraudulent charges initiated by Kat's husband in name but not substance, Mark Burton, and her estranged mother. Nor am I responsible for what these desperate characters have inadvertently unearthed about the woman I adored. Carrie adds, I was clearly blinded by my affection. Regardless, I will hold a place of empathy and forgiveness for Kat and continue to focus on the many blessings in this life. Burton and Sweetman's attorney, Michael Avenatti has responded to Carey's claims, calling them outlandish. Jim Carey is so desperate to avoid the public knowing the truth about his own outrageous conduct that he has now resorted to outlandish accusations against innocent people, he says in a statement. White suffered a drug overdose and died at her home in California in September, 2015. Her death was officially ruled a suicide by the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office in July, 2016.